You see all of these cool cinematic animations on Instagram, but you have no idea how to design them. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to design these type of style frames in After Effects. Before we proceed, I just want to mention that I also share lots of short tutorials and free project files on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me so you don't miss them. The link is in the description. Now, let's get started. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So in Assets folder, I have a reference that is made by AI and in this video, we are gonna try to create something similar to what we have in here. So I'm just gonna hide this reference and we're gonna start from scratch. So as I have explained in my previous videos, the way I usually start to design a scene is by adding the type first. So I'm gonna go towards the text tool and I'm gonna write the text. So if you, and I'm gonna duplicate it, struggle. And let's just, set the third one in here. All right, so here's the font. Let's just align it to the sort of the middle. All right, this is good. Now on the next step, what we want to do is that we want to design the background. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna press Ctrl, press Y to create a solid and I'm gonna click on the fill color the color is just fine and i'm gonna hit ok let's just call it bg and now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna push this layer beneath the text text that we have in here now it is time to stylize the background a bit more so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add the fractal noise effect so what i want to do in this step is that i want to create a texture for this background well to do that what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna change the fractal type from basic to dynamic and let's just turn down the contrast to let's say 50 and let's set the brightness to 50 as well and let's navigate through the transform panel and let's increase the scale to let's say 450 so we have a bigger texture for our uh, background and then lastly what we need to do is that we just gonna turn down the opacity to let's say 12 percent and we are going to change the modes from normal to let's say a soft light so this will give us a really good texture that we wanted for our background however we can even take this style further by adding a gaussian blur effect and we can just blur it a bit for like uh, 35 uh, pixels so this is going to be our background now on the next step what we need to do is that we need to uh, sort of add the elements so this is why i usually use the um, chat gpt to you know design the style frames because it's gonna let me uh, arrange the elements easier without spending too much into figuring out which design works best so i'm just going to add the movie uh, clipboard which is simply as you see it's a flat clipboard that we have in here and it's to be honest it's an art to turn this you know flat clipboard into something that looks cinematic which we are going to do it in a few minutes so let's just quickly uh, arrange that element and place it in our in the right space so this is going to be one of the elements and this is going to be the second one and also let's just uh, bring the pen in here let's just scale it down let's say to 22 percent and let's just rotate it and place it in all right so here are the uh, you know the elements that we have so let's just reveal it and let's just now push this one a bit up and this one looks good but as you see right now it looks too flat so we need to work on the elements to make it sort of better so what we need to do is that we just need to firstly turn down the opacity to let's say around like 30% for now for each three of these assets all right this good this looks good now let's just add an adjustment layer and I'm just gonna call this adjustment layer a contrast and I'm gonna add the effect and 
I'm just going to add the effect and brightness and contrast and let's just increase the contrast to make this uh, a sort of the comp composition and design a bit darker so what we are aiming at this point is we want to make the composition a bit darker and then we want to bright the elements to create a sort of a unique uh, feel in our scene so right now as you see everything is black and we don't have any sort of light happening to our, towards our object so to do that what we need to do is that we can just go simply towards the move clipboard and I'm going to add deep glow 2 effect this is a premium plugin so I'm just going to turn down the radius to 250 and let's turn down the exposure to 0.50 so this looks good and now we can just paste this one to the other elements as well but as you see the pen looks a bit sharper compared to the other two so we can just change the blend mode from normal to a soft light and this will make it a bit darker to what we want and we can just increase the opacity on these two layers as well all right this looks good now we can create a sort of a, a, I would say a mist around this shape by simply uh, you know going towards out the circle tool but first let's just um, create a solid layer and I'm gonna call it mist and let's just add a fill effect and I'm gonna make it a pure black for this time and I'm gonna go towards the uh, circle tool and with the layer selected I'm gonna double click on it to create a mask now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna select the inverted option to invert this mask and I'm gonna set the feather on uh, 450 so we're gonna have some nice vignette effect and uh, this is it's gonna be a super cool vignette effect for our design however we can add a glow effect for our uh, text let's just set the glow radius to 50 and let's just turn down the glow intensity to 0 and 0.3 and we can just change the color B color to a new uh, colorish all right so this is good I'm gonna paste it for the other layers as well to create a sort of contrast between the elements so right now as you see everything uh, sort of is done but it's not quite what we what we want and that is because we haven't really add the lighting into our scene now there are, there are two ways in order to add the lightings first you can turn these objects into 3d and you can use a spotlight but if you are not really comfortable with creating lights inside of Adobe After Effects I highly suggest you to download and buy the look plugin by Red Giant by Magic Bullet so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the looks which is made by Red Giant Magic Bullet and hands down this is one of the best plugins when it comes to color grading the uh, assets that you have so I'm just going to click on edit in here so as you see looks is going to color grade your design and make it into something desirable and likable uh, with a few clicks so as you see we have a bunch of presets that we can use for our footage so for example if I go towards the black buster warm I can uh, select the laundry room which I, if I apply it you can see that immediately my design turned from a flat linear into something more appealing so as you see this is not really hard to make this type of uh, designs so all you need to do is that you need to sort of create a white and um, black and white space and then color grade it using the looks and basically with these few tricks you can have a simple design for yourself and here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot thank you so much goodbye